Do you know Jeju-do? It is an island south of South Korea, and it is a super popular tourist destination for Koreans. My Korean friends have been there many, many times when I've asked them, and they all say, you gotta go, and I've never been there in my life. I'm 34 years old and Korean, but never got the chance. So this time, while I'm in Korea, I asked my dad, hey, let's go together, and my dad hasn't been there in over 30 years either, so... We decided to go to Jeju-do, and this is the vlog of the day that we flew there. The yogurt in Korea tastes so good. It tastes different from Canadian yogurt. I'm having it with homemade granola, which my dad's friend gave to him, cooked at home, so, well, baked and assembled at home. All these good stuff. Leftover birthday cake for breakfast, anyone? I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever had cake for breakfast. We are at Gimpo Airport, which is different from the Incheon Airport, which is international. These are domestic flights. The last time I came to this airport was when I was like 10 years old, before they opened the Incheon International Airport. But it's still pretty clean here. We are at the lounge for Kimpo Airport and among the drinks they actually have some uh, non-sugary stuff too. Like for example, green tea. That's what I got. Glad they have some non-sugar stuff. That's our plane. It's really tiny. There are planes every 30 minutes flying to Tejudo. Alrighty, here we go. This is the car we're renting. All right, let's go. 45 minutes for our destination. We're in Jeju-si in Jeju-do, the city. We're, but we're heading south to Seogipo on the southern tip of the island, which is 45 minute drive away. I think we're in between a mountain, well, a mountain cut in the middle. Every car here in Korea, not just Jeju Island, but they're all tinted from front to back, every single windshield. And that is not the case in Toronto, Canada, where it is illegal to have tinted front windows and the front windshield, so you can't see the driver's face from any angle over here. We left the city area and now we're more... Uh, what do I call this? <laughs> In the suburbs? Countryside. Countryside. 
countryside. Arriving at the hotel area, Jeju Xinhua World Marriott Hotel. All right, let's go in. This is inside the hotel, or lobby, I should say. All righty, made it in one piece. And that's not me, Mr. Yu, that's my dad, Mr. Yu, but same name. <laughs> Let's have the look at a view outside. A little park in the back. Hey, Jun. And this is the bathroom. And look at this. Japanese style. Nice. Let's look at the shower. Yeah, looks clean. A lot of bamboo here. My dad wanted a burger, so we are going to have, well, burger and fries, but I'm gonna have Korean fried chicken. Alrighty, time to dig in. This is, I'm not gonna eat this burger, but I'm just gonna have the fries and chicken. Korean fried chicken. Man, getting, getting quite full. Uh, that was a lot of food, but gotta save room for dessert because there's something I spotted that I want. This is the first time I've seen a haagen store where they just have a bunch of ice cream tubs like a normal ice cream store. This is what I wanted to have, the latte float from Oslo. This is it, the latte float. Look how tall this is. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. So the Paul Bassett Cafe one is way better. This one's not bad, but not super good either. Oh well. These are all restaurants outside. Didn't even didn't even realize there were so many restaurants outside the hotel, right outside. There's a theme park over here. We have a ticket that's included. So maybe check it out tomorrow. Probably not ride anything really or do a water park but uh, we'll check it out well it's the first night in Jeju-do and we didn't really do much other than stay around the hotel vicinity because we were both tired just waking up since 4 a.m. so not that our flight was early but just waking up early me because of jet lag and so just watched a movie Battle Angel Alita, half of it, although I've seen it before. And just getting ready for bed after a hot shower. It is 8.40 p.m. and I think we're just going to go to bed early tonight. So two full days left in Jeju-do before we head back on Monday. So let's make the best of the next two days here and not just eat hotel junk food nearby. We'll, we'll seek out some delicious places tomorrow and the day after. All right, see you in tomorrow's career vlog.